Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, battery tray completed. I took it to the powder coaters in the end. I didn't bother painting it myself. It was so cheap to get it done, relatively in cost, that I thought I might as well. Might as well just get a professional finish. I don't know how well that comes up on camera, but it looks really good. It does look like a factory part now. So that will mount to the cycle bottle mount holders in this position here. So I'm um, going to get some bolts in there now and um, yeah, get this fitted. Can't get to this bolt here, so I'm going to see if I can get an extension for the socket. I couldn't find an um, extension for the socket to hand, as usual, so I've got a flat headed bolt the same size. I'm hoping this will work and I can screw it through the top here. Gabby, come here Gabby, come here girl, sit down, sit, sit, there's a good girl, there's a good girl, no don't touch that, don't touch that, good girl. Pick the longest thread in the world. At least I know it's not going to come out in any hurry. Seems pretty sturdy. Let's go and get the battery and um, test that how it sits on there as a test fit. I've still got to wrap the battery in. Um, in black shrink wrap, but yeah, let's go get the battery so it fits. So here's the battery pack with the BMS that's been moved onto the side to give the extra space, the original position for where it went on, on top of the battery. Um, I've designed it so it's got a lip to rest against, so the battery has to go in from one side at the back. Like so. It looks pretty good. Right, I think the best thing I can do now is um, get it wired up temporarily and get this secured to the tray and uh, give it a test run, make sure it is solid. But to be honest, I, I don't think I think it's going to be fine. I can feel I can feel the sturdiness of it already. No, oh, I think I think that's good. I'm really happy with that. All right, nice. I'll get this wired up for a test run. Hi guys, so battery's in. I think that's secure enough, but obviously I'm gonna to have to take it for a good test ride and it's, it's probably gonna be getting dark in the next hour, so I'm probably gonna take this out over the weekend now. Um, put it through its paces a bit, make sure it's all good. If this battery tray is secure, then I'm gonna cover this whole entire thing in waterproof tape and black shrink wrap. Um, yeah obviously tidy up the cables a lot. I'm going to, um, going to take the camera off the tripod now and take you guys in for a closer look. Right, so here's some of the work we've previously done. We've got a, um, an upgraded 50 amp fuse, which is an awesome idea to do if you, you run a phase runner at high power because they tend to blow. 
I've got the brand new BMS that's been um, relocated from on top here. As you can see the frame clearance isn't a lot and uh, we're going to be running a couple of straps or cable ties on this system even in the end. Uh, I'm going to flip the bike around now so we can see the other side. Alright guys, back on this side of the bike again. So like I said, all this, this can be tidied up and these ends of the cable ties will be shoved around when I do the finished product underneath where you don't see them. There's going to be no cable ties on this phase runner because I'm going to use some strong adhesive foam tape to stick that in place, it's not too heavy. Um, this will be quite straightforward, covering this whole thing in black shrink wrap. But the, the thing that I'm... Uh, thing that I'm kind of brainstorming at the moment and I'm not entirely sure about what to do with is the on off button here you can see the phase runner going on and off and the charge port so I'm thinking about maybe having something like um, 3d printed like a little box to put them in either separately or together so if you guys have got any ideas sleek kind of design that could be maybe f done on a 3D printer um, and position of where I want them as well obviously I'm not going to want a charge port on the handlebars because uh, yeah it goes without saying if you knock the bike when it's charging it's not going to go too well so I've got a charge port and I've got an on off switch so if you guys have got any ideas what to do with that hit me up in the uh, comments section but I think I'm going to leave that for today Next step will be a uh, test ride in it, and then if all goes well, I'm going to be finalising the battery and tidying up some of these cables, and that should be a finished product by then. But I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. I think it's looking good. So catch you guys in the next video.